Well, Christopher Rodriguez is a decorated combat Marine and Republican running in the 49th Congressional District race. In a recent campaign ad, Rodriguez says he's trying to take down establishment candidates who have remained in office for years without making any meaningful progress in improving their communities. Take a look. Meet Congressman Mike Levin and professional candidate Brian Marriott, or as I call them, the suits. They run for Congress every two years and nothing changes, nothing gets fixed. My name is Christopher Rodriguez and I'm no suit. I'm a Marine combat veteran, did two tours in Iraq. I'm running for Congress because Washington has enough empty suits. I'm Christopher Rodriguez and I approve this message. It's time to boot the suits and send in the Marine. Boot the suits. Is this as close as we're going to get to a suit on you? <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, obviously, Christopher Rodriguez in studio to talk to us more about that. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Okay. This is a pretty interesting boot the suits campaign. Why was this so important? Because you really get real. You're talking to real people, real Marines, real fathers, real families. That's what I my takeaway is. A hundred percent. You know, the district is sick and tired of the same candidates running every two years. You have... Democrat Mike Levin, that's a far left progressive that gets elected, keeps winning, and then you have on the right side Brian Marriott runs every two years and keeps losing. And that's just, it's causing issues on the ground. The little that Mike Levin does get done in DC is the reason why we're suffering uh, skyrocketing crime, inflation, the highest electricity costs in the nation, um, policies out of Mike Levin's office support our failed public education system, and people are upset, they're pissed off, and they want a fighter to represent them in D.C. and just bring forth common sense policies and get things done. Is that why you decided to run? Absolutely, yeah, I served my country, did two tours in Iraq, started a small business, I've raised my family in this district, I love this community, it's a hard-working blue-collar community that just wants to live our lives, achieve our own versions of the American dream, and uh, the one-party rule in D.C. under Mike Levin is uh, preventing that, and so I'm, I'm running on no excuses, I'm sick and tired of the excuses, we need someone that's going to fight for this district and get things done. Yeah, I'm glad you brought up the no excuses because I saw that on your website. Let's talk a little bit more about what No Excuses is because I feel there's always talking points. There's, oh, we got to get rid of homeless. Oh, we got to do this. But there's no action plan. So explain to me what No Excuses is. Absolutely. I think No Excuses is um, a, a, a a battle between what we hear from politicians over and over, excuses. We need someone who's done, you know, move the, the excuses aside and work to get things done. As a local elected official in Oceanside, we've moved on a no excuses policy with homelessness. We've lowered our homeless population. We have a surplus of over two and a half million dollars with our general fund budget. We are moving our city forward and I wanna bring those experiences that I've learned in the Marine Corps as a leader and in serving the community here um, in North San Diego County, I wanna bring that to DC so we can actually get things done don't make excuses, work with the other side and uh, come together. There's enough division going on. We need to come together and get to work. One thing that jumps out to me in your bio is you have seven children. Yes. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I may go to Afghanistan or Iraq and not do the seven children, but you did them both. How do you think raising seven children can really prepare you I mean, to deal with uh, what goes on in politics. You know, I love being a dad, and there's never a dull moment at my house. My oldest son is a Marine. He followed in my footsteps, and my oldest daughter married a Marine, and I have my first granddaughter, Adelaide. And, you know, I, I love my children, but more importantly, the legacy that uh, they're going to bring my family and the next generation. They're leaders. I raise leaders. I teach my, I teach my boys. Uh, men make uh, plans, boys make excuses, and mm. that's a big reason um, I'm running on that no excuses campaign. And I think it's important that the voters see a crowded field. There's some great candidates running, uh, Republicans, five Republicans running. I'm the best candidate to face Mike Levin in the general. I am literally Mike Levin's worst nightmare. I'm a conservative, conservative Hispanic combat Marine veteran, proud father of seven, small business owner, and we're going to win this November. Yeah, so you're ticking a lot of those boxes because, you know, 
know, uh, there's a lot of sentiments among viewers, uh, voters that we hear from that politicians are disconnected. You know, they're the actual 2%. They're not the folks that are boots on the ground, let's say, like you are. Absolutely. Yes, at, you're 100% right. We've knocked on over 30,000 doors in the district with my team. We've completed over 7,500 surveys and the district is ready for a fighter to represent them in D.C. All right, well, I'm not going to challenge you to an arm wrestling match <laughs> anytime soon. Boot the suit. His name is Christopher Rodriguez. No excuses to her. I'm sure we'll have you back on again, but uh, it's a pleasure. Thanks for stopping by the studio. Thank you so much. All right.